हेलो एवरीवन आज हम आपको डीजी में कराने जाएंगे नाउन कि नाउन हम कैसे करते हैं ओके आज आपको डीजी में अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन होएगा नाउन words or nouns are the names of people places animals and things to kya kehte hain nouns kya hote hain names kisi ka naam people jo log hote hain places sthan animals pashu and or things vastuve okay used in place of nouns for example the words i we you he she it and they are proper nouns to hamara kya hai pronoun kya hote hain i main we hum you tum he vah he yah शी वह ही लगता है लड़कों के लिए शी लगता है लड़कियों के लिए इट यह दे वे ओके देर आर सम मोर प्रोनाउंस यू कैन यूज इन प्लेस ऑफ नाउंस फॉर एग्जांपल दिस दीस दैट एंड दोस लेट्स फाइंड आउट मोर You use the pronoun this when you talk about one person, one place, one animal, or one thing that's near you. Look at the picture. The girl is showing one apple that's near her. So she would say, "This is an apple." Here, this is a pronoun. Used to show the noun apple. Now read this sentence. Annie wants to eat this. In this sentence, the word this is used in the sentence in place of the word apple. But you know what this means because the picture shows you that it's an apple, and because of the action word eat. So you can use the pronoun this to point to a noun. Even when the noun is not part of the sentence, when there is more than one noun being pointed at, you use the pronoun these. These में क्या बता रहे हैं जहाँ बहुत सारी चीजों एक से अधिक हो. Look at the picture where the girl has many apples around her. So you say. These are apples. Here, these is a pronoun. Look at the picture again and read this sentence. Annie and her friends will eat these. Here, the pronoun these is used in place of the noun apples 
to point to many apples that Annie has near her. Here, even though the word apples is not part of the sentence, you know that the pronoun these refers to apples because that's what I'm near Annie and because of the action word eat. So you saw that this and these are pronouns that are used when the noun is nearby. Now, let's understand the pronouns that are used when the noun or nouns are far away. You use the pronoun that when you point out to one person, one place, one animal, or one thing that's far or at a distance from you. Look at the picture. You can see that there is one toy that is far away. So you say, that is a toy. Here, that is the pronoun used to point to the toy that is at a distance. Look at the picture again and read the sentence. Dan plays with that. Here, the pronoun that is used in place of the noun toy. You know that the word that is used in place of the noun toy because the sentence is pointing out to the toy and because of the action word play. You use the pronoun those when you point out to more than one noun that's at a distance or far from you. In the picture, you can see many toys that are far away. So you would say, those are toys. Here, the word those is a pronoun. Look at the picture again and read the sentence. Dan plays with those. Here, the pronoun those is used in place of the noun toys. You know that those is used for toys because the sentence is pointing out to the toys that are at a distance and because of the action word plays. Next, let's understand the helping verbs is and are that are used with the pronouns this, these, that and those. The helping verb is is used with a singular noun or just one noun. You should use the helping verb is in a sentence with the pronouns this and that because you are pointing out to only one person, place, animal or thing. The helping verb are is used with a plural noun or more than one. So, we have to say that when we have one thing, one animal, one place, we have to say that 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 you should use the helping verb are in a sentence with the pronoun these and those because you are pointing out to more than one person, place, animal or thing. Now, let's look at some more sentences that use the pronouns this, these, that and those along with the helping verbs is and are. Remember, 
This is used to show only one noun that's near you. Now read this sentence. These are my sister's books. Here, the pronoun these is used to point to many books that the boy has in his hands, so they are close to him. Remember, these is used to show more than one noun that's near you. Here's another example. That is Sheena's car. The pronoun that is used to point to the car that belongs to Sheena and is at a distance or is far from you. Remember, that is used to show only one noun that's far from you. Now read this sentence. Those are Beth's friends. The pronoun those is used to point out to many of Beth's friends who are all at a distance. Remember, those is used to show or point to more than one noun that's far from you. Here, 
here, even though the word apples is not part of the sentence, you know that the pronoun these refers to apples because that's what Anya and me and because of the action word eat. So you saw that this and these are pronouns that are used when the noun is nearby. So what are we saying? These are a lot of apples that are used when these pronouns are used. Now, let's understand the pronouns that are used when the noun or nouns are far away. You use the pronoun that when you point out to one person, one place, one animal, or one thing that's far or at a distance from. जो पहला हमारा this था, वो हमारा one person था, one place था, one animal था, one thing था और far भी था near था. Near भी सोता है पास में, far उधर दूर, मतलब distance में. Okay? तो अब हमारा pronoun इसे opposite होगा. कि one person, one place, one animal or thing far, दूर हो गया, distance. From you. Look at the picture. You can see that there is one toy that is far away. So you say that is a toy. Here, that is the pronoun used to point to the toy. क्योंकि toy जो है वो हमारे से दूर है, okay? तो that आता है. Toy that is at a distance. Look at the picture again and read the sentence. Dad plays with that. Here, the pronoun that is used in place of the noun toy. You know that the word that is used in place of the noun toy because the sentence is pointing out to the toy and because of the action word play. You use the pronoun those when you point out to more than one noun that's at a distance or far from you. In the picture, you can see many toys that are far away. So you would say those are toys. Here, the word those is a pronoun. Picture again and read the sentence. Dad plays with girls. Here, the pronoun girls is used in place of the noun toys. You know that girls is used for toys because the sentence is pointing out to the toys that are at a distance and because of the action word plays. Next, let's understand the helping verbs is and are. That are used with the pronouns this, these, that, and those. The helping verb is is used with a singular noun or just one noun. You should use the helping verb is in a sentence with the pronouns this and that. Because you are pointing out to only one person, place, animal, or thing. The helping verb are is used with a plural noun or more than one noun. You should use the helping verb are in a sentence with the pronoun these and those. Because you are pointing out to more than one person, place, animal, or thing. Okay. So as a matter of complete, what is noun? We have to use it. Okay. Complete the work.